Hi folks, I'd like to say a few words about my friend and yours, Steve Potter. I knew Steve for about 30 years. He was probably my piano tuner for 20 years. And uh, just after Steve died, I was playing a concert here in Guelph. And there's about 350 people in the audience. And I sang the song I'm going to sing for you for the crowd there. And they hadn't heard about Steve's passing. And it was amazing how many of those 350 people knew him personally through their connection with their pianos. Uh, he had incredible uh, connections to our community because of that. He tuned everyone's piano. And it wasn't that he was tuning their pianos. I think they were actually his pianos. He really owned them and we were just minding them. And to Steve, we didn't mind them very well a lot of the time. This is actually my son Evan's piano here, a Willis, and Steve's kept it in good repair over the years, and in fact he just tuned it a couple weeks before he died. Uh, and the reason it's Evan's piano and not mine is that I have a beautiful old bell piano, and I didn't really live up to Steve's standards with it. He made me banish it from my studio because I couldn't keep it on an interior wall. I wasn't keeping the humidity correct. He made me buy a little humidity tester that uh, I put on the piano and every time he'd come to tune it he'd look at it and go, James. Uh, so I had to loan my beautiful bell piano out to my sister and get this one that was a little bit more rugged and not as valuable. Um, he'd always come to tune my piano, he'd shake my hand very formally and he'd lay out his father's beautiful old piano tuning tools uh, on a stool and on a little velvet cloth and he had a lovely ritual that he did with this and he'd start to work on the piano. Uh, I wish I could remember the tune, but when he was done, he always sat at the piano and played a specific tune. Maybe it was the only tune that he really was good at playing, I don't know. And that was his sign that, yes, it was all ready to go. A lot of us in this musical community owe a lot to Steve, of course, not just for his piano work, for his uh, work as a bass player and his general spirit when it came to jamming and uh, collaborating, uh, just showing up wherever there was some good music to be had. Um, I'm going to play you a song that Steve actually badgered me into writing. It's about bell pianos. Bell pianos were made here in Guelph. Uh, he was a, an aficionado of piano history. He gave me a book about them and told me a lot of great information. Uh, mentioned that there was at one time over a hundred piano makers in this province of Ontario alone and that now there are zero but bell pianos were one of the best he loved working on them and this song was written for him but I had it broadcast originally on CBC radio and it attracted a lot of attention to the piano and some to Steve uh, it also appeared on uh, a CD I made about Guelph songs and it's called when every parlor had a piano and every parlor in Guelph that has a piano is going to be feeling the loss of Steve Potter right now, just as so many of us are. But because these are his pianos and they continue to be played, he's going to live on through the great resonance and the great feel of all these pianos as well. So this is When Every Parlor Had a Piano.
those gramophones and radios Pretty much the end for me All of those piano factories closed And now folks just watch TV Instead of playing two steps and waltzes Like they used to do It's hardly ever now you hear that good old piano music The good old homemade piano music The good old Thanks, Steve.